Today's event serves to honor our fallen service members and remember the sacrifices made on December 7th, 1941. I am David Kilton, the lead for interpretation and visitor services at Pearl Harbor National Memorial. I am honored to serve as your master of ceremonies and I would like to recognize a few of our attendees today. I'd like to recognize the director of the National Park Service, Charles Sams III, and our regional director of the National Park Service for the Pacific West region, Frank Lands. We'd also like to uh, remember those that have been in attendance at our ceremonies, veterans that have served, and definitely those that served in World War II and the Pearl Harbor survivors that have been able to join us at the various events throughout these commemorations. I'd like to also recognize our speakers along with our distinguished guests. We are grateful for the sacrifices that have been made by the Pearl Harbor survivors by what has been known as the greatest generation, their families, and those World War II veterans. Thank you all for making the long journey to remember our fallen service members and honor their sacrifice. Guests, please rise. Honor Guard. Advance the colors. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fly o'er the ramparts we watch we're so gallantly streaming and the rock gets red glare the bones bursting in air gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave oh, the realm of the free and the whole the Ah, uh, 
ニエカメハメハエナカウアエパレメカイエラスプレイ Father, we come to you now to invoke your kind mercies upon us. Today we carry in our hearts and minds the 429 souls committed over to you this day 81 years ago. They are our friends, our fathers, our grandfathers, and more. They represent the fighting spirit of the United States Navy Combat Force. They're the true embodiment of honor, courage, and commitment. And for us, they have defined our own pursuits and identity. So we thank you for the blessed honor to be connected to those heroes. We pray today's ceremony would honor their memory and you, our God, by whose name we pray. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. We'd like to thank the Joint Honor Guard. The rifle team and Donald Nokowski and the United States Pacific Fleet Band for their support today. And thank Chaplain Elif for his invocation. We'll now have uh, the rifle team uh, give a salute. I'd like to, uh, it is my honor to uh, now introduce Captain Richard Jones. Commanding Officer, Pearl Harbor Navy Ship, Naval Shipyard and Intermediate Maintenance Facility. Thank you. Aloha. 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 Good afternoon. Thank you to everyone who made the journey to be here today to honor USS Oklahoma and her crew. As the 48th Commander of Pearl Harbor Naval Shipyard and Intermediate Maintenance Facility, I am honored to be here on the 81st anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor and honor the everlasting legacy of the 429 sailors and Marines of USS Oklahoma who made the ultimate sacrifice on December 7th, 1941, as well as those who worked to save the lives of 32 men trapped in our capsized hull. As I reflected on the theme of everlasting legacy, I pondered over the lives of those involved in the attack. While the world was tense with war in Europe, the morning of December 7th, 1941, was peaceful in Pearl Harbor. Many of the sailors who pulled into port were young and had traveled to a tropical paradise far from their hometowns and families, many for the first time. The shipyard workers were resting up and preparing for another typical week of maintaining the vessels that were in port. On that quiet Sunday morning, of December 1941, the Oki, as she was known, moored less than a thousand yards behind me on Battleship Row, alongside six of her sister warships, had begun her day. Many sailors dressed in their whites, falling into rank ahead of colors at Sunday Mass. Others prepared to go ashore and spend the day exploring the island, while others lay sleeping in their bunks. And then in a matter of only 12 minutes, the Oki and her crew were plunged into battle. Attacked by as many as nine torpedoes, she capsized and sank to the bottom of Pearl Harbor in mere minutes. Those still alive were now trapped in a hellish reality inside the capsized ship. Several crew members performed a harrowing escape 
by swimming blindly almost 90 feet through almost 90 feet of darkened, flooded bulkheads before surfacing to the horrors that were occurring in the harbor. For those still trapped in the rising waters, banging walls with any available tools, desperately hoping their plea for help would be heard. On shore, hundreds of military and civilian workers raced to aid the foundering ship. Miraculously, amidst the noise from the ongoing battle across the harbor, those assisting in the recovery heard the cries for help and sped to rescue the men trapped deep within the Oklahoma. A group of civilian shipyard workers rose to the challenge and began chipping and cutting away the hull, at the hull steel, to reach those trapped inside. Over the next 48 hours, 32 men were pulled out of the flooded compartments and carried back to shore, exhausted from their relentless efforts to be rescued. The individual stories that make up the overarching legacy of the attack on Pearl Harbor are what bring greater memory, greater meaning to the gathering today, 81 years later. Each family, or each year, family members come together to share these stories and sustain the legacy of their loved ones and their shipmates. Their sacrifices shaped not only the next four years of the war, but created ripple effect that inspired millions of Americans to enlist and avenge their countrymen, ensuring their sacrifices were not made in vain. The destiny of countless families changed dramatically with immediate deployments of their fathers, sons, and brothers to fight tyranny around the globe, while millions of women took up jobs in factories and manufacturing lines to support their boys overseas. After the attack, the shipyard faced a massive repair and salvage effort as the vast majority of the Pacific fleet lay damaged in the harbor. With the awakening of American industry due to the war effort, millions of civilians felt the call to don tool belts and naval shipyards across the nation, including the Navy Yard in Pearl Harbor. The codebreakers in Station Hypo, located in Building 1 at the Navy Yard, had determined the location of the Japanese fleet with this crucial knowledge Admiral Nimitz ordered that what, would, that, would, that what would seem like an impossible task. Get the USS Yorktown, who had recovered, who had arrived in harbor from the Battle of Midway a mere seven months after the attack on Pearl Harbor. They need to get her ready within 72 hours, even though the repairs were estimated to take over three months just to get her seaworthy. Shipyard workers, fueled by their dedication to keep the fleet fit to fight and avenge the events of December 7th, met this challenge, getting her underway with shipyard workers still on board to finish the repairs as the ship sailed to Midway Atoll. Their dedication allowed the ship to help turn the tide of the war in the Pacific during the Battle of Midway, again only seven months after the attack on Pearl Harbor. Meanwhile, back in Hawaii, despite the intensive efforts taken to to refloat her, Oklahoma was too badly damaged to be saved. Deemed beyond salvage, she was sold for scrap in 1946. However, the once mighty warship took control of her own destiny and broke free of her lines while under tow to California, sinking to the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, rejoining her crew a few hundred miles from Hawaii. The Navy will continue to honor the legacy of Oklahoma along with Utah and Arizona when they return to active duty as the Navy's newest Virginia-class submarines. These are the same submarines our shipyard workforce proudly maintains today, in the very same dry docks once used by their namesake battleships during their own maintenance periods. Once they are home ported in Pearl Harbor, these submarines will continue to inspire the next generation of sailors and shipyard workers. But the everlasting legacy of the sailors, Marines, and civilians lost on December 7 is not confined to the memorials or ships named in their honor. Their memories are carried on through each of us who witness and share their stories. By those who take the oath and don the Navy and Marine Corps uniforms, and by those who carry on the proud tradition of keeping the fleet fit to fight at the nation's naval shipyards. Thank you for joining me today in honoring the everlasting legacy of U.S. Oklahoma and our crew. Aloha. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tom Leatherman.
Superintendent of Pearl Harbor National Memorial. We'll have another aloha. For those of you who are at the ceremony this morning, you'll know that I've been serving here as a superintendent at Pearl Harbor National Memorial for just a little over a year. So this is my second uh, batch of ceremonies. Unfortunately, last year I attended two internment ceremonies on December 7th, right after the main ceremony. So I, I was not able to be here for the Oklahoma ceremony last year. The first ceremony was at the Punch Bowl where, where there was actually a re-internment ceremony from Oklahoma uh, sailors who had been identified and were reinterred there. Um, and then following that, we had an internment ceremony at the USS Arizona for a Pearl Harbor survivor who was buried with his shipmates. So I'm, I'm glad that I'm able to join this year, and I hope that in the future I'll be able to come to this event every year, because it's an important part of the legacy that we're trying to preserve and share with, with the public uh, for the years to come. When the National Park Service assumed oversight responsibility of the memorial in 2008, we not only assume the responsibility of caring for this physical memorial, but we, we assume the responsibility of being the stewards for these stories that are being shared with you, and the stories that were shared just now with you about this history. Our theme this year is Everlasting Legacy. And we are dedicated to make sure that the lives lost here, represented by the names on the posts and the pillars in the memorial, are not lost to history. We must remember we must remember them and what they did in order to carry on their legacy and the best way to do that is to share it. As you likely experienced getting here, it's not that easy on Fort Island. We're dedicated to finding a way to make this site as accessible as possible so that everyone has the opportunity to know the story of the Oklahoma and not just those who have base access or go on one of the infrequent tours. At the main ceremony this morning, the director of the National Park Service, who's sitting here with us right now, challenged everyone to, quote, carry the Pearl Harbor legacy forward, sharing the stories of valor and sacrifice with your friends and families, and instilling a sense of respect and inspiration in future generations, end quote. I pass on that same challenge to all of you and hope that you will join us in making sure that the everlasting legacy of the Oklahoma is carried on for generations to come. I want to share my gratitude to all of you again for letting me join you here today and remember those who served on the Oklahoma. Mahalo. Thank you, Superintendent Leatherman. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the benediction. Let's pray. Father, grant us your grace as we depart now. May we never forget the loving sacrifice made by those whom we memorialize today. May we never cease in the relentless pursuit of character demonstrated these who have fallen here. May we never quit in our own journey to know you and the peace that you promise your children about our own life and death. And may we never to fail to embody our duty and honor to all those who have gone before us. We ask your blessing on all those here today that you would make yourself known in the truth that you provide. We ask this in your holy name. Amen. gentlemen, please be seated. At this time, we will have uh, ro uh, petals, flower petals, and actual names that are listed on the post behind us. As we read these names, if you would like to go and take the opportunity to grab some of the petals and also pull one of those names to connect with that individual, you can place them at the base of the posts along the memorial.
We will now have the names, 429 names of the Oklahomas, those that were lost from the Oklahoma that morning. Red. United States Marines. Marley R. Arthur Holtz. Waldine Black. Walter L. Collier. Alva J. Creeman. Elmer E. Trayvon. Harry H. Gabber, Jr. Tad Hall. Otis W. Henry. Robert K. Holmes. Vernon P. Keaton. John F. Middlesbrough. Robert H. Peak. Raymond Pennington. Charles R. Taylor. Marvin B. Atkins. Willard H. Ulrich. U. R. Alexander. United States Navy. Stanley W. Allen. Hal J. Allison. Leon Arx. Kenneth B. Armstrong. Daryl E. Artley. John C. Ald. John A. Austin. Walter H. Backman. Gerald J. Bailey. Robert E. Bailey. Wilbur F. Ballance. Layton T. Banks. Leroy K. Barber. Malcolm J. Barber. Randolph H. Barber. Cecil E. Barncourt. Wilbur C. Barrett. Harold E. Bates. Ralph C. Battles. Earl P. Baum. Howard W. Bean. Walter S. Belt, Jr. Robert J. Bennett. Harding C. Blackburn. William E. Blanchard. Clarence A. Blaylock. Leo Blitz. Rudolph Blitz. John G. Buck, Jr. Paul L. Boomer. James Bowie. James B. Boring. Ralph M. Boudreaux. Lawrence A. Boxrucker. Raymond D. Boynton. Carl M. Bradley. Oris V. Brandt. Jack A. Breedlove. Randall W. Brewer. William Brooks. Wesley J. Brown. William G. Brosbitz. James R. Buchanan. Earl G. Birch. Oliver K. Berger. Millard Burke, Jr. Roger C. Butts. Archie Callahan, Jr. Raymond R. Camry. William V. Campbell. Murray R. Cargill. Harold F. Carney. Joseph W. Carroll. Edward E. Cassinger. Biasio Casola. Charles R. Casto. Richard E. Casto. James T. Cheshire. Patrick L. Chess. David Clark, Jr. Gerald L. Clayton. Hubert P. Clement. Floyd F. Clifford. George A. Koch. James E. Collins. John G. Connolly. Keith R. Connolly. Edward L. Conway. Grant C. Cook. Robert L. Corn. Beyond H. Corzot. John W. Craig. Warren H. Krim. Samuel W. Crowder. William M. Curry. Glenn G. Kiria. Marshall E. Darby, Jr. James W. Davenport, Jr. Francis D. Day. Leslie P. Dells. Ralph A. Darrant. Francis E. Dick. Lehman R. Dill. Kenneth D. Dunderberg. John M. Donald. Carl D. Doerr. Bernard V. Doyle. Stranislaw F. Drawal. Cyril I. Doucette. Buford H. Dyer. Wallace E. Eakes. Eugene K. Elberhart. David B. Edmonton. Earl M. Ellis. Bruce H. Ellison. Julius Ellsbury. John C. England. Ignacio C. Farfan. Luther J. Farmer. Lawrence H. Petro. Carlton H. Ferguson. Robert A. Fields. William M. Finnegan. Francis C. Flaherty. James M. Finnegan. Felicissimo Floresi. Walter C. Foley. George P. Foote. George C. Ford. Joy C. French. Ted M. Fur. Michael Glagic. Martin A. Gara. Jesus F. Garcia. Eugene Garris. Paul H. Gebser. Leonard R. Geller. George T. George. George H. Gibson. George E. Giesa. Quentin J. Gifford. George Gilbert. Warren C. Gillette. Benjamin E. Gilliard. Arthur Glenn. Daryl H. Joggin. Jack R. Goldwater. Charles C. Gomez, Jr. George M. Goosh. Clifford G. Goodwin. Robert Goodwin. Duff Gordon. Claude O. Gowley. Wesley E. Graham. Arthur M. Grand Prix. Thomas E. Griffith. Edgar D. Gross. Vernon N. Grove. Daniel L. Gussinger. William I. Gernanis. William F. Goosey. Hubert P. Hall. Robert E. Halterman. Harold W. Ham. Dale R. Hamlin. Eugene P. Han. Francis L. Hanlon. George Hansen. Robert J. Hart. Charles H. Harris. Daniel F. Harris. Louis E. Harris, Jr. Albert E. Hayden. Harold L. Heed. Robert W. Heddington. William F. Helstern. Floyd D. Helton. Jamie L. Henriksen. William E. Henson, Jr. Harvey C. Herbert. George Herbert. Austin H. Hessler. Dennis H. Hessen. Joseph P. Hederoff, Jr. Frank S. Hogue, Jr. Herbert J. Hort. Joseph W. Hoffman. Kenneth L. Holm. Harry R. Holmes. James W. Holshar. Edwin C. Hopkins. Chester G. Hort. Frank A. Henowitz. Charles E. Hudson. Lawrence E. Holtwood. Robert M. Hunter. Clayton I. C. Iverson. Willie Jackson. Herbert B. Jacobson. Chalice R. James. George W. Garding. Kenneth L. Jane. Theodore Q. Jensen. Jesse B. Jensen. Charles H. Johannes. Billy J. Johnson. Edward D. Johnson. Joseph M. Johnson. Jim H. Johnston. Charles A. Jones. Fred M. Jones. Jerry Jones. Julian B. Jordan. Wesley V. Jordan. Thomas V. Jerson. Albert U. Connie. John A. Carley. Howard V. Keffer. 
Ralph H. Keel, Donald G. Keller, Joe M. Kelly, Warren J. Kempf, Leo T. Kenninger, William H. Kennedy, Elmer T. Peretz, David L. Kessler, William A. Classic, Vern F. Nepp, Hans C. Collins, William L. Kvidra, D. T. Kaiser, Elliot D. Larson, Johnny C. Laurie, Elmer P. Lawrence, Willard I. Lawson, Gerald G. Lehman, Myron K. Lehman, Lionel W. Lescault, Howard W. Lindsay, John H. Lindsley, Alfred E. Livingston, Clarence M. Lockwood, Albus J. Lobot, Vernon T. Luke, Octavius M Mabon, Howard S. Mayers, Michael Malik, Alheo V. Malfante, Walter B. Manning, Henry C. Mason, Joseph K. Mall, Edwin B. McCabe, Donald R. McLeod, James O. McDonald, Bert E. McKinnon, Holly McKissack, Lloyd E. McLaughlin, Earl R. Melton, Herbert F. Milton, Archie T. Miles, Wallace G. Mitchell, Charles A. Montgomery, J. M. Muller, Ray H. Myers, George E. Nagel, Elmer D. Nail, Paul A. Nash, Don O. Near, Arthur C. Willis Wander, Sam D. Neville, Wilbur F. Newton, Carl Nichols, Harry E. Nichols, Frank E. Nichols, Arnold M. Nielsen, Laverne A. Neg, Joe R. Nightingale, Charles E. Nix, Camellius M. O'Grady, Jarvis G. Outland, Lawrence J. Overly, Alfred S. Owsley, Miller C. Pace, James Pelides Jr., Calvin H. Palmer, Wilfred D. Palmer, George L. Paradise, Isaac Parker, Dale F. Pierce, Walter R. Pentico, Stephen Pepe, Charles F. Perdue, Wiley J. Parade, Milo E. Phillips, James N. Phipps, Gerald H. Pirtle, Rudolph V. Pickeran, Herbert J. Poindexter, Jr. Bradley O. Perret. Robert L. Pribble. George F. Price. Louis P. Pry, Jr. Jasper L. Pugh, Jr. Paul S. Raymond. Eldon C. Ray. Dan E. Reagan. Leo B. Reagan. Irvin F. Rice. Porter L. Rich. Clyde Ridenor, Jr. David J. Riley. Russell C. Roach. Joseph M. Robertson. Harold W. Roche. Walter B. Rogers. Joseph C. Rouse. Charles L. Roos. Edmund T. Ryan. Roman W. Sedlowski. Kenneth H. Sampson. Dean S. Sanders. Charles L. Saunders. Lyle J. Savage. John E. Savage. Paul E. Saylor. Walter F. Schleider. Herman Schmidt. Aloysius H. Schmidt. Andrew J. Schmidt. John H. Schoonover. Bernard O. Scott. Chester E. Seaton. Bertie D. Sedertum. William L. Sellen. Everett I. Iverson. William K. Schaefer. William J. Shanahan, Jr. Edward J. Sheldon. William G. Silva. Eugene M. Skaggs. Gerald L. Skiles. Edward F. Slipikas. Leonard F. Smith. Merle A. Smith. Roland H. Smith. Walter H. Soley. James C. Solomon. Maurice V. Spangler. Kirby R. Stapleton. Ulysses C. Steely. Walter C. Stein. Samuel C. Steiner. Charles M. Stern, Jr. Everett R. Stewart. Louis S. Stockdate. Donald A. Stott. Robert T. Stout. James Stoughton. Milton R. Surratt. Charles H. Swanson. Edward E. Talbert. Ranger F. Tanner, Jr. Monroe Temple. Houston Temples. Benjamin C. Turhan. Arthur R. Thines. Charles W. Thompson. Clarence Thompson. George A. Thompson. Urban A. R. Thompson. William M. Thompson. Richard J. Thompson. Cecil H. Thornton. Robert L. Thrombley. David F. Tidball. Lloyd R. Tim. Louis B. Tindall. Dante S. Tinney. Henry G. Tipton. Everett C. Determington. Neil K. Todd. Natalie I. Torty. Orville A. Tranbarger. Harold F. Trapp. William H. Trapp. Shelby Treadway. William D. Tucker. Victor T. Tomlinson. Billy Turner. Louis J. Tushla. Russell O. Ufford. Lowell E. Valley. Darrell Wade. Louis L. Wagoner. Harry E. Walker. Robert N. Wolkowski. Eugene A. Walpole. Charles E. Walters. James R. Ward. Edward Wolsilski. Richard L. Watson. James C. Webb. William E. Welsh. Alfred F. Wells. Ernest R. West. John D. Wheeler. Claude White. Jack D. White. Alton W. Whitson. Eugene W. Wicker. Lloyd P. Wingen. George G. Wilcox, Jr. Albert L. Williams. James C. Williams. Wilbur S. Williams. Bernard R. Wimmer. Everett G. Wendell. Starring B. Winfield. Rex E. Weiss. Frank Wood. Lawrence E. Woods. Winfred O. Woods. Creighton H. Workman. John L. Wortham. Paul R. Wright. Eldon P. Wyman. Martin D. Young. Robert V. Young. Joseph J. Eureka. Thomas Spansky.
ladies and gentlemen, as the last few petals are put down, um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take just a moment to share some of the um, importance of what had been brought forward by our speakers today and, and also quoted by the, our director of the National Park Service and how we can carry on that everlasting legacy. And how I'd like to do that is share a story from last year's Oklahoma that shows how there are the stories that we remember here, but there's also the stories that tie with them. The sacrifices that were made by others at that time and how those stories connect with us. And so last year we had the honor of having some of the, the rosies and actually one that one of the rosies that was with us was a welder and they called them Wendy the Welders. And uh, Marion Wynn had a good friend um, that she worked with doing those those duties of of welding that had a brother that was serving on the Oklahoma. And he was one of those names that was lost and was just read. I believe it was Mr. Richards. And we had the honor to have her come out and connect with her friend and his and that friend's family and place the petals on the post in memory of his that loss that her friend had that that morning and the enduring legacy the everlasting legacy that we can carry of those connections and those stories that bind of the sacrifices that it was an honor to be able to have um, miss Wynn come in and take part and it's an honor to continue to carry those stories forward <laughs> and we are grateful for those that help us to do that uh, recognizing our partners at the Navy Shipyard and with Pacific Historic Parks and with the Navy that help us to commemorate and honor these, this everlasting legacy today. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can please rise at this time and stand by for rifle salute.
This concludes our ceremony. I would like to thank all of those who participated in today's events and those who traveled the great distance to join us in honoring USS Oklahoma and her crew. As you depart, we invite you to view the historic photos provided by Pearl Harbor Naval Shipyard. Thank you again for attendance and aloha. aloha.